Okie dokie. So today's stream, we're working on Project Hospital. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless me. Um, so I did two point yesterday. And let me let me adjust this volume real quick. Because this feels loud. Alright. That should be a little better. Um, so I did two point yesterday and my idea behind two point was I wanted to three star each map as I went. But I started looking into this game a little bit because I wanted to see what it was about, kind of what it was uh, compared to Two Point, and it seems like this one is like more up my alley, more management style. Uh, two Point is, I don't want to say easy, but it's kind of easy. <laughs> um, so I'm looking for the challenge, uh, kind of like what this one can be. So essentially. Uh, you can start as like an empty field, a clinic, uh, small hospitals, medium hospital, big hospitals, right? Like there's different size maps that you get to build on. Um, right, like the other things that you can do here in sandbox mode is I can make building free which I don't want to do because I think I don't make it too easy. Or I can unlock all departments, which I don't really want to do either. Uh, I do want to leave on patients can die. I'm going to start with the bigger field because I don't really know what I'm getting into. So I want to start with the option to uh, expand uh, if and when I need to. Uh, so let's just jump in and kind of see what happens. And I played through the tutorials yesterday um, off stream just to kind of see what was going on and what I could do. Um, kind of solidify that I think this is the right game for me to play. Alright, so we are in the game. We're paused because we don't have anything going on yet. Alright, so from what I understand, this yellow is like where ambulances can like unload persons. So eventually I want my trauma center over here because my ambulance is going to bring in trauma patients. Um, and kind of like the basic way to get started is just with an emergency clinic. Um, the emergency clinic, it needs a waiting room, a doctor's office, and a restroom that people can have access to, and it needs at least one doctor employed. That's all you need for a clinic, right? Um, so it, it doesn't require much, which is why it's such a great thing to get started with. Uh, radiology, we're probably going to want pretty early on for x-rays. We're more um, a diag of our patients. We've got some medical laboratories, uh, different things that we can build there. You know, we can do blood tests, we can do microbiology, um, just different things, right? Um, and each one of these sections represents different fields of medicine that we can add to our clinic and a clinic over here on the left and eventually our hospitalization. Um, so I guess this game kind of just looks at it in a basic like clinic is hours uh, like open to close and you can have midnight shifts and stuff. Hospitalization is the patient doesn't leave. They're under observation until I guess. I don't know. Just kind of based on what I'm seeing. But in order to have a hospital hospitalization of any of the departments, you first have to have the functioning clinic of that department. Um, okay, so there's surgery, internal medicine, orthopedics, cardiology, neurology, infectious disease, whatever this one is. Can't say that. Uh, and then there's some administrative buildings, which I really want to get a pharmacy online pretty early on. Um, I think that'll help with generating a little bit of extra money. All right, so with this general idea in mind, coming in from the parking lot, what do we want to do, right? 
Uh, so we're paused. We're in management mode. Um, we should, I think. We're going to come in. We should have a small reception room. Uh, I might be too far back. Oh, look, I can remove my first room. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll start with a waiting room. We want this to be... be a waiting room for the clinic itself um so if i do doctor's offices that are like let's do so i want to start with my doctor's office on the end i think i'm probably like a five by sure call it five by seven And we're going to have a few doctor's offices. We do a waiting room. Here. Toss in a quick reception. Keep it like that. All right. Um, This is really big for a bathroom. That's what I'm trying to fit in a bathroom here. Um, something like that's probably good. Okay. Uh, gives us a quick little easy clinic right off of our parking lot. And then we can kind of build from here. I may scrap this room and put my pharmacy here. So like on the way back out, people can get what they need. Give me three doctor's offices, pharmacy, waiting room, restroom. Okay, um, our staff need kind of a break room, dealio. to be like well, I guess technically I only need a waiting room through here right now um, as we progress we'll need an x-ray room does it it needs to be a five by I don't really want to do it there because I might need to put more doctor's offices in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll build on this one. can put in like three more doctor's offices on this side if I need to. I can have the waiting room for my x-ray machine over here. I can share a bunch of this other stuff. All right, I like it. So to kind of get started,
we'll just drop that. Boom. All right, and wall up the perimeter. Uh, let's change our view to magical walls. And we have a nice brick hospital on the outside. All right. All right, feels good. Feels good. Get some walls in. Let's see. It's a nice set of double doors coming from pharmacy going into our pharmacy. I like it, I like it. Okay. Uh, Do those there. We're going to Oops. door with window, door with window. What color? Uh, so these doctor's offices here. I think I want doctor's offices to be. Blue, maybe? Well, hold on. Let's, um. Shit. Let's just go into here. Let's, let's get started with the more basic things. Toilet, 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 toilet. Alright. One, two. 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 One, two. All the way across. All right. Bathroom. Don't need that. We need sinks. Two sinks are probably good. We'll put some mirrors in here. Some hair dryers, or some hand dryers, and Trash can's probably important. Okay. You know what else is important to be able to get into the bathroom? A door. I don't really want a glass door to the bathroom. Just a white door. Okay. Now. Back to our dilemma with these doctor's offices. I could do this purplish color for doctor's offices. Um,
All right, so. I... I'm really stuck on what color. I want to color coat things. Um, I'm thinking this purple color for doctor's offices. Uh, is there a, I thought there was a staff door somewhere. That's fine. Okay. Uh, All right. We're feeling good. We need to finish building up this. I wish I could, like, get rid of those doors while I'm building this. Um, be able to see around them a little easier. Get rid of that so that we can put in I don't know that I really like all the eye pieces. Let's do that. Just a couple of them. All right. one work spot right now uh what else do we need back here your dispatch ladies may get thirsty they might need a printer All right, I think that's good enough. All right. Um, for waiting for the doctor. These are pretty simple. They can come in, they can check in themselves here for the minor stuff. They can see our attendant, um, who I think is a qualified nurse that will get a couple of the symptoms for us from what I was reading. So that's pretty cool. We definitely like that. Um, just as a way to make the doctor's lives a little easier. Put some water here. Cool. All right, pharmacy. I like that. It's real simple.
pharmacy sign up, make sure people can find us pretty easily. My printer doesn't apparently fit. It's fine, we'll get another one that does. Can I move that? That's fine. Um, All right, we got a fully staffed or a fully stocked pharmacy. For our doctor's office. All right. this really like these glass office desks but they're kind of expensive compared to like everything else Ooh, those sinks are so expensive. Do the broke one. Let's see, equipment cabinet. One of those on each side of the sink. Got our bio bin back here. Then across from our chair. All right, nope, not the button I wanted to hit. Rolling with that purplish color. What does this look? I don't even know if I want to do it. The checkered purple.
All right. We have a basic clinic. We could go ahead and set up for a second doctor. I guess we may as well, right? We know we're going to need it. All right, boom. Basic clinic. Um, but before we go too far, let's go ahead and get our break room set up and our cleaning closet. Fridge back there with a sink. Do we have some countertop space? Yeah. A little place to prepare some lunch. A table.
Ay, ay, ay. Let me. Okay. Oh, not that one. There it is. Okay. Let's pull that out. Put it over here so we can do. A little all glass box. Put that back in the corner. All right. Now. Radiology. Radiology will do. I think yellow is probably good. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I think that's probably pretty good to start with. We need a daytime nurse. Looking for a receptionist. I can hire you for 238 or you for 223. You have no hidden traits. Works much more efficiently during the day. I'm actually cool with you. Come on in. All right. Uh, doctor, doctor, doctor for our clinic. Um... This dude looks pretty solid. Hospital can now accept patients, but I think I also want to hire, probably want to hire Lisa. What, what do you do? You 
You're not quite as good, but you're noticeably cheaper. Uh... Let's just hire you. All right. We could totally open up our radiology department too, but I think we can save a little bit of money by not opening it until we actually have a patient that needs it. Uh, what else did we need? A pharmacist. We've got Pharmacy 40, but Long Commute. Or we've got this guy, who's slightly better. He's got a negative that we can't see. Or a hidden perk that we can't see. It might not be negative. Let's give them a shot. All right, so we're feeling pretty good. We got a pharmacist, we've got two doctors, we've got a receptionist, we've got a decent waiting room that we can extend on down if we want to. Um, we can expand our doctor's offices a little bit. We have a break room. We have a doctor's office that we can build over here a little bit faster. I did not put a floor in over here though. I think I did that in one inverted. Let's try this one. Yeah. It's, it's a little better. Okay. I don't like what it does there, but eh, whatever. Uh, hold on, pause. We got to check one other thing. Okay. We're going to check a couple of things. Our departments, what do we have? Uh, do, 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 do. It'll kind of do itself, I think. I think. Um, insurance companies. This is what we wanted to take a look at. So in order to unlock the uninsured, we have to take three patients. So that one will come in time. Cheapo Care wants us to treat one patient per day in the emergency which is what we've set up so as soon as we treat our first patient we get not only what they're going to pay us but also twenty thousand dollar government grant um this next one open a clinic at any specialized department does it tell me which departments are specialized uh quick snap care requires me to have five ambulances overcure has I have to have nine fully working departments and Oopsie Corp create one doctor with the character editor and hiring cards. How do I do that? We'll try to create a doctor um, when we fill this room because that might be an easy way to get an extra insurance online earlier. All right, I know I don't have floor up there in radiology, but nobody's really using that space, so it's cool. We should be getting 10 patients today. That's interesting. The patient goes back here. Now 
we treated the first person. We got $80 from the doctor. And $170 in the pharmacy. Woo! How about that for a bigger ticket? All right. We can now take uninsured insurance. That's going to ask us to treat 10 patients in a day. Got a little achievement for taking another insurance. That's cool. All right, so we're going to be asked to take 10 patients in a day. And we get $30,000 on top of it. And for cheapo care, they want us to open up radiology and they'll give us $30,000 in government grants. Now, conveniently, we knew that was coming, right? We went ahead and built it. Um, where is radiology? We can go ahead and hire somebody for radiology. Uh, these are like the top two radiology people at a 37 and a 38. You're a fresh parent. All right, I've got sympathy for you. Come on in, Lisa. All right. Um, Lisa, we got to get your waiting room set up. Let's do that quickly, shall we? Uh, we're using modern benches. All right, it looks good. Just a very simple waiting room. All they're gonna do is come back here and wait to get an x-ray anyway. Um, that was everything we needed for radiology, right? Go ahead and push that through as a waiting room, just so people know that they can go back there. I don't know if that matters. I don't think it does. Um, and I guess some, I guess a patient actually has to go to radiology for it to like trigger that I have it. I guess it's not just opening it. So let's hope somebody needs an x-ray. I'm not really sure why they go back here instead of like talking to her over the desk. What you got? You got a foot problem? We'll take care of that. $320. Where's our budget? I thought there was a budget button somewhere. Is this? Okay. Not sure why that's showing up in yellow, but I'd say we're doing pretty well. I mean, we're not covering salaries yet. I'm pretty sure as the day ticks over, uh, salaries are going to drain us a good bit. But this gives us a start. Uh, plus, it's only noon. You going back for an x-ray? Sweet. What's going on with you? Our first x-ray. Did we already get the bonus from, because I noticed this one says medical laboratories now. Okay, sweet. So it did trigger. We got our money from that. We're up to 84,000. Um, we do need to, I think we're probably going to treat these 10 patients today without a hiccup. So we should get the other lump sum cash. We may be able to go ahead and open up our labs. This is tripping me out. I don't understand why the patients need to go stand next to her. Trip. 
treated 10 patients in a day and got some monies for it. So this one, once we treat 15 patients in a day, we don't get lump sum cash anymore. It just increases the number of patients that this insurance company will send us to 15. So we get, instead of having a limit of 10 per day from them, we'll have 15 per day or 25 total. It's kind of cool. As we continue to grow and meet the needs of our insurance companies and the patients, they'll expand and let us do a little more. You know what I didn't hire? It was a cleaning person. Let's just get somebody in here. Um, you're worth the money, daggone. Stats were way higher than everywhere else. All right, should be wrapping up for the day. This should be our last couple of patients, which is cool. We should hit the 15 for the day. Which means tomorrow we should have a chance at 25 uh, patients to come in. Yes, sir. And if we treat 20 customers in a day, we'll get $50,000. All right, um, I'd say we've done pretty all right. I don't know if I wanna like rush into getting our labs online. three labs that we can get and we have to have a dedicated cleaning closet for them. How big are they? Four by four, four by four, and four by four. So if we just do four by eight, four by eight, Four by eight. A couple doctor's offices over here. We can put a really don't, don't need that big of a bathroom. Bathroom there. Is that big enough for a cleaning closet? How big is that? Three by two? Okay, cool. All right, um, then we can do a waiting room. Over here. Seems pretty good. A little bit of extra space over here if we need to expand or add to something or whatnot. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get our foundation tool. Where is it? That one. Foundation tool. Start up here in this corner. Boom. All right. Um, add walls to the exterior. I 
wanted this to be a restroom. I don't know what I can set it up as. There we go. Um, cool. friends i have a plumber here i have to go but thank you so much for watching and stick around to see where we go next